Twilight's Redemption, a tale of bond between the forces of darkness. In a small village nestled deep in the misty mountains, an ancient castle looms over the town. The castle is home to a family of Gothic vampires who have ruled over the village for centuries. The villagers have always lived in fear of the vampires, but they have always kept their distance and respected the boundaries set by the vampire family. One day, a young woman arrives in the village. She is a stranger and no one knows where she came from or why she has come to the village. However, the young woman is beautiful and charming and she quickly attracts the attention of the young men in the village. As the young woman becomes more and more popular, strange things begin to happen in the village. People start to disappear and there are rumors of strange creatures lurking in the shadows. It soon becomes clear that the young woman is not what she seems and that she is working with the vampire family to lure the villagers into their clutches. The villagers must band together to fight off the vampires and save their town from the ancient evil that has haunted them for centuries. As the villagers begin to realize the danger they are in, they turn to the only person who might be able to help them, a retired vampire hunter who lives on the outskirts of the village. The hunter is an elderly man, but he is still sharp and skilled in the ways of vampire hunting. Together, the villagers and the hunter devise a plan to defeat the vampire family. They gather weapons, holy water, and other tools that will help them in their battle. They also seek out allies, including a band of gypsies who are known for their knowledge of the supernatural. As the night of the battle approaches, tensions run high in the village. The villagers are afraid, but they are also determined to stand up to the vampires and protect their home. The hunter leads them in a prayer to give them strength and courage. Finally, the night arrives. The villagers arm themselves and head towards the castle where the vampire family awaits them. The battle is fierce, with both sides sustaining heavy losses. In the end, the villagers emerge victorious. The vampire family is destroyed, and the village is free from their tyranny. But the cost of victory is high, and many lives have been lost. The villagers hold a ceremony to honor the fallen and to thank the hunter and the gypsies for their help. They vow to never forget the lessons they have learned and to always be vigilant against the forces of darkness that threaten their home. And as for the young woman who started it all, no one knows what became of her. Some say she was a vampire herself, while others claim she was a human who was seduced by the vampire's power. But one thing is certain, her legacy lives on, a reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows and the importance of staying true to one's values in the face of evil. As the villagers celebrate their victory over the vampire family, strange things begin to happen in the village once again. People start to disappear and there are rumors of a remaining vampire in town. She might be that young woman. The hunter suspects that the young woman who started the previous vampire attack may has returned to seek revenge. 
or she was not a member among the family of gothic vampires. She might be another individual, a lone vampiress. He sets out to investigate and discovers that the new woman is the previous young woman's twin. She was indeed a vampire and sole survivor member of the vampire family. But her twin sister, who visited the village before, was a dangerous werewolf. But there's a catch. The hunter soon realizes that this new vampire is not evil like her sister was. In fact, she is a victim of her sister's machinations. Her sister turned herself into werewolf and had turned her into a vampire against her will to finish every male villager for seeking her old revenge. But the new young woman has been struggling to resist her thirst for blood ever since. The hunter takes pity on the new vampire and decides to help her. The old vampire hunter and the new pitiful young woman spent days and night at the hunter's hut. He teaches her how to control her thirst for blood and how to live among humans without causing harm. In return, the hunter spent intimate nights full of romance with her. The old hunter's bed carried evidence that every night became passionate and full of enjoyment between them. And thus, the young woman healed quickly than anticipated. Meanwhile, the villagers are once again living in fear. They don't know who to trust, and they worry that another vampire attack could come at any moment. The hunter and the new vampire hatch a plan to trick the villagers into believing that the new vampire is dead so that the villagers can live in peace without fear of persecution. The plan works, and the villagers believe that the new vampire has been destroyed. But the hunter and the new vampire know the truth, that they are still alive and living among the villagers in secret. As time goes on, the new vampire learns to live among humans and even falls in love with a young man in the village. But her happiness is short-lived. One day, her evil sister returns, seeking revenge for her harassment at the hands of the male villagers. The hunter and the new vampire must once again band together to defeat the evil werewolf, and by finishing her life, protect the village. But this time, they have a new weapon, the knowledge that there can be good vampires as well as evil ones. In the end, the new vampire sacrifices herself to save the village from her werewolf sister. The villagers honor her memory and the memory of the old vampire hunter who has passed away peacefully after a long life of fighting the forces of darkness as for the young man who loved the new vampire, he never forgets her and tells her story to his children and grandchildren as a reminder of the power of love and the importance of fighting for what is right. <laughs>